Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. I know it's been a minute since I've made a video. I'm definitely still doing PowerShell things in the background. I actually have uh, two presentations prepared uh, for a state conference here in a few months in Michigan, the Michigan Association of Educational Data Systems. So it's uh, really cool to be making a video again. And I, I have some things I'm going to be presenting on then that I'll be making videos on as well. And I have also started working on a second book uh, regarding PowerShell security. I, I've been deep diving this, and that's why I've kind of stopped producing content. That and I'm real busy with other things, as a lot of you may know. So, But what I did want to launch today was my new PowerShell chat GPT uh, it's a custom GPT and it's actually trained on my book, uh, uh, PowerShell for Systems Engineers. So, and, and I'll, I've actually added some other things that I'm going to be refining it more and more, but uh, this is going to be a great assistant for you to make your PowerShell code. And I wanted to just demonstrate it for you guys today, and the link will be in the description. So, let's go ahead and have it. Uh, right, well, I'm going to do this first one here, but I just want to show you these prompts. As you can see, you've probably already been reading them since I've been talking. And let's go ahead and actually let's do the email one first and let's see what, what it produces for us. So, just a little script that, uh, and with an explanation that uses an SMTP server, constructs an email, and sends it out. So, Pretty cool, uh, made that, you know, obviously you've got to test everything that even my script makes. Also no warranties on this, of course, but it does do its best. One of the things I like about it is that it uh, allows you to not have to constantly say, hey, do this with PowerShell, like at a minimum. And I realize it won't necessarily do that, uh, but it also does refer to my examples and uh, some documentation that's in there as well. So. I'm just going to demonstrate these other examples here. How do I send a file to an S3 bucket? Again, these are just ideas. Pretty cool. Start over again. Uh, this will be a good security thing. This is kind of some of the stuff I'm jiving on, uh, you know, with my new book that I'm working on. Real obvious audit to do to see who's domain admin in your domain. No, I love that it tells you the prerequisites and that kind of thing. Uh, and I've shown this in some of my other videos, but. Uh, making GUI scripts and I'm going to show that right here and this is going to use Windows Forms and it kind of knows to do that uh, I think somewhat being trained on my book but I mean you know because there is WPF that you could do but I tend to hover towards Windows Forms and I'm going to uh, actually take that code and make a script real quick And I'm going to copy that over to Visual Studio Code. All right, I sped that up for us a little bit. I had already got it saved, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a run. So I just want to see what it makes. And here you see a little AD tool to unlock an account. So, of course, we'd have to validate if that works. And I'm not on a domain controller. So, yeah, pretty cool. So that is about it. Again, link in the description and uh, hope to see you guys check it out. Thanks so much and check out for some more videos coming soon. I promise I got more coming soon.